Hey, it's XX PSP Slim XX, and this is a tutorial showing how to install an IPR Revision K stable on your PSP with custom firmware. Okay, number one, you need custom firmware. Please don't ask in the comment section how to install custom firmware. There's many other videos on YouTube that will show you how to do that, but not this one. Okay, so you need any custom firmware. Any custom firmware will work with RevK stable. I like RevK. I'm currently using. Rev J, but Rev K has been an all-time favorite. So, if you click to the right, there's a, in the video description. If you click on the link, this will pop up. You need WinRAR. If you do not have it, search WinRAR on your Google tab, or go to Google.com and search it and download it. It's free. You get a free trial. Download it, and then you can open it. Once you have WinRAR, download it. Press Open. Press OK. And it should open quickly, rather quickly. There's three three folders and two programs. Select files. Then there's there's all other firmware and 3.7 M33 only. If you have 3.7 3.71 M33, then of course you're gonna click on 3.71 M33 only. If you have any other custom firmware, custom firmware can be 1.5 original firmware. If you have any other custom firmware, please select all other firmware. They both contain an SE plugin folder and you should get the SE plugin folder and drag it over to your desktop if you would please. And then you should have something like this. Here it is, my SE plugin folder. And then connect your PSP, go into USB mode, PSP and then then this will pop up or you can access it using my computer select all open folder to be files my computer is really so slow sorry and then you're gonna want to go or create an SE plugin folder if you don't if you already have an SE, SE plugin folder what you're gonna want to do is open that up and you're gonna want to you're going to want to get the IPR folder that's inside the SE plugin folder that you downloaded and drag it over. Okay, once you drag that over, drag over, please also drag over the IPR PRX, IPR.PRX, drag it over too. I already have it, so that's why I'm not dragging it over. And if you don't already have a game folder, if you don't, then just drag over the game folder also. But if you do, just open it up and type in type in what's in the game folder of the file that you downloaded of night PR. You can just copy and paste it there. As you can see I have I have five other PRXs, so that's other applications, so you can just do that. And once you do that, you're pretty much set. And if you don't already have an SE plugin folder, you all oh, it's very simple. Before you even access it, the SE plugin folder, all you have to do is drag it over to the main the main stage, the root menu of your memory stick. You drag it over and that's it. Once you do that, you can exit out. You can exit USB mode on your PSP. What you're gonna want to do is completely turn off your PSP. I'm doing it right now. Once it's completely turned off, enter recovery mode by pressing by turning it back on and pressing R. Then once you hit the recovery mode, you're gonna wanna the temporary delay. You're gonna wanna go to configuration. Then you're gonna want to go no wait, not bad. You're gonna wanna go to plugins and then just enable nightpr.prx just enable it it should say game just enable it once you enable it rack exit once you enable it you're pretty much done and what you're gonna want to do is install your codes for nightpr and i'll have it on a, another video okay this has been this has been an xx psp slim xx video and thanks for watching